welcome to Collecting Like Terms. Just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so just a quick introduction to uh, what we're going to look at in terms of collecting like terms. Um, I'm just going to start with a question. If we had two cups and we added three cups, what would we then have? Well, if we put them all together, well, we would have the two cups plus the three cups. We would have five cups. Now, if we were doing this in what is known as algebra, using letters to represent numbers, well, I could say the two cups is 2c and I'm adding three cups 3c and what I've come out with is 2c plus 3c being 5c I've collected together the like terms of cups so I started with cups and I ended with cups I started with c's and I ended with c's and all I had is because I had two plus another three of them when I put them together, I have five in total. So let's think about the same when we're talking about dogs. I have set up a little, uh, little equation here, all about dogs. What have I got to start with? Well, I have three dogs. I might call that 3D. And in the second part, I have five dogs. So three dogs plus another five dogs. What does it mean I've ended up with? Well, if we count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dogs. And so 3D plus 5D, the Ds are our common terms. They are common. And so when we come to bring them together, we can add them together quite simply. So what about this one? I've got two cats plus two dogs. So I have, if I was writing it in algebra, that would be 2C for cats plus 2D for dogs. Now the question is, can we put those together? Um, so I've got two cats plus two dogs. Does that equal 2CD or does it equal 4CD? Um, what does, it, uh, what does it mean? Well, let's just read what that would actually say. 4CD, that would mean 4 cat dogs. Now, what I don't have here are 4 cat dogs. I have 2 cats and I have 2 dogs. Because they are different types of term, they cannot be brought together. And so this 2C plus 2D is actually the exact final form of this. We can't lump them together, the C's and the D's, because they are different terms. Just as cats and dogs are different, C's and D's in algebra are completely different terms. So let's look at simplifying some expressions. Now the term simplify the expression is exactly the same as collecting like terms. What we're looking for are what are the like terms within the expression. And so within this expression, 8b take away 3b, there are b's in both cases. So if you want to, you can always think of this as um, something that begins with that letter. So you can imagine what's going on. So this could be eight bananas take away three bananas. But all it would mean is if I had eight of these things and I took away three of them, I'd be left with five. But I'd be left with five of that item. So five B. If I had seven C plus C. Now this is um, an important feature. If you see a letter all on its own, now that is just because we don't generally write the number one when we are dealing with algebra. And that comes from things in real life as well. We don't generally say something like, I have one pencil. You would just say, I have a pencil. And so we don't use the number one that often. And so if we just see a letter on its own, it means one of them. 7C plus C, well, that means 7C plus 1C. Well, it would mean that I now have 8C. 4E plus 7E plus E. Well, this is exactly the same again. They're all E's, and therefore that means that it's absolutely fine to add them all together. 
So if I take it a step at a time, if I have 4e plus 7e, how many e's have I got? Well, that's 4 plus 7 is 11. And then plus another e, that is again, like saying 1e. So I would have in total 12e. And then finally, we've got negative 2f plus 5f plus 3f. Now, negative, so we can deal with negative numbers. We're starting at negative 2 and we're adding on 5. So beginning at negative 2 and adding on 5, well, that is positive 3. And then if I add another 3, well, that is positive 6. And so I would have positive 6f. So next, I would like to look at the two plates of fruit. And eventually, I'd like to bring them all together to see what I have in total. But first of all, I need to convert what is on the uh, plates into some algebra. Um, and so, on the first plate, I have three apples. So let's call that 3a. I have two bananas, but I have and. So I'm going to use a plus. So and two bananas. On the second plate, I have two apples but I also have five strawberries and so I have 3a plus 2b on one plate and 2a plus 5s on the second plate now the question is what happens if I add the two plates together well what can I actually collect together as a like term well the way that I'm going to do this is I'm actually just going to use a highlighter. I'm going to try and highlight the like terms. I have three apples on one plate and, and I'm going to take the plus and two apples on the second plate. And so if I bring those two, uh, those two things together, that is 3a plus 2a. Well, 3a plus 2a is 5a. If I look at the bananas, well, I had positive 2b. There are no bananas on the second plate, and therefore the plus 2b is a different term to everything else, and therefore I'm just going to have to add 2b. And finally, the strawberries, well, the strawberries were only on the second plate, and so again, that piece is going to be on its own, the plus 5s. Now what we've done here, this is a simplified expression. We've taken like terms and collected them together. So in this case, the like terms were our apples. So let's look at some examples of this. We have 3a plus 2b plus 2a. So what I'm going to do and when you're doing this, you can either do it with a highlighter pen, with different coloured pens, or just with different shapes drawn around the different parts. I'm going to try to identify the like terms. I have 3a, and I also have plus 2a. Now, it is very, very important that you always uh, maintain the sign that is in front of um, a term in an expression, because that tells you whether it's a plus or a minus. In this case, it's 3a plus 2a. So 3a plus 2a, well, that is going to be 5a. The 2b and the positive 2b, well, that has nothing to match with. And therefore, we're just going to write plus 2b. In our second question, we have 8c. And then we have a positive 2c. So those two parts must come together. 8c plus 2c. That is going to be 10c. The negative 3d, well that has nothing to match with and so it remains as take away 3d. Our simplified expression is 10c take away 3d. In our next one we have 2g and we have negative g. Now remember, because this doesn't have a number in front, we can treat that as negative 1. So that is 2g take away 1g. Well, if I do 2g and I take away 1g, I'm left with just 1g. In the h's, I have negative 
3H plus H. So again, remember, that is like 1H. So it means I have negative 2H plus 1H. So if I start at negative 3 and I add on 1, well, that gives me still a negative value, but it's negative 2H. And so the simplified version there would be G take away 2H. And in my last one, I have 2K. And I also have a negative K. So I have 2K take away K. Now remember that is like having one of them. So it's 2K take away 1K. Well, that would leave me with 1K. In the M's, I have negative 5M and I'm adding 3M. So if I started at negative 5 and I added on 3, I would still be negative. I'd be at negative 2M. Okay, and finally we're going to simplify expressions where we have combinations of letters or where we have some um, powers involved. Let's just see what that means. Um, so within the expression 3AB plus 2B plus 2A plus 2B, what are the like terms? So what we need for a like term is something which is exactly the same type of expression or term. And so 3AB, if I'm going to um, find a like term, that must also have AB in it. And therefore the like term is right here at plus 2AB. If I bring those two values together, I have 3AB plus 2AB. 3 plus 2 is 5. And it means I have 5 of this AB. B. The other two pieces of my expression, the plus 2b and the plus 2a, well, they have no like terms to collect with. And therefore, the plus 2b will remain as plus 2b, and the plus 2a will remain as plus 2a. In my second question, I have 8C take away CD plus 2C plus D take away 3. And so again, with this question, all I need to do is identify my like terms. Well, here I have an 8C. I have a plus 2C. And I have a take away 3C. I'm going to have to bring all three of those together because they are all like terms. 8C plus 2C, well, that will be 8 plus 2 is 10C. And take away 3C, well, 10C take away 3C will be 7C. The CD, negative CD here, that has nothing to match with. And therefore, I'm still going to have take away CD. And the plus D, again, has nothing to match with, and so I will still have plus D. In the next one, it's E squared plus E squared. Now, it's very important here. E squared is exactly the same as the other E squared. It's the same, uh, same type of term. And therefore, when we bring them together, if I had one E squared, and then I added another E squared, what I would now have is 2 e squared. The powers do not change when we are adding and subtracting um, because all we're doing is we're counting how many of them we actually have. And so in the final one, 2f cubed take away 3f cubed plus 4f cubed. Well, they are all f cubed. And so now, basically, all we're doing is seeing how many of them we actually have. And so if I have... 2f cubed, and I take away 3f cubed, I now have take away 1f cubed, but I still need to add 4f cubed. And so if I bring this together, negative 1f cubed plus 4f cubed, well, negative 1 plus 4 is 3f cubed. And so the simplified version 
would be 3f cubed. And finally, we come to the exam question, and this came from the Edexcel paper in June 2017, and it was on foundation paper 2. Um, and it came in three parts. We were asked first to simplify 5p, take away 3p, plus p. Well, in terms of collecting like terms, they are all p's. We just need to remember here that the p would be 1p. So if I had 5p and I took away 3p, well, this would mean that I had 2 p but I'm going to add one more p so 2p plus 1p would give me 3p in the second question I've got m cubed plus m cubed now just like the previous examples here m cubed is exactly the same as another m cubed and so all I'm being asked here is how many m cubeds do I have well I had one here and one here so one plus one means I have 2, I have 2 m cubed. And finally, I'm being asked to simplify 10 plus 3c plus 5d, take away 7c plus d. And so with this question, we need to identify our common terms. And so we have plus 3c. Do we have anything else which is just a c? Well, we have negative 7c. And so, if I bring those two elements together, plus 3c, take away 7c, well, that is a negative 4c. If I look at the d's, I have positive 5d plus d. Now, again, let's just remember that could be classed as 1d. So, I have 5d plus 1d. Well, 5 plus 1 is still positive. And it's positive 6d. There is another element here though. We have the number 10 as well. Now the 10 has nothing to match with it because we don't have anything else which is just a number. And therefore that 10 is going to remain exactly as it was. We've got 10 take away 4c plus 6d.